Hello, and welcome to TMC's How-To Demo Series for Dynamics 365 Business Central, where we explore the features of Business Central for basic tasks within your organization. If you can't find a demo you're looking for, let us know in the comments below, and we'll try to make it happen. Today, we're going to conclude basic workflows in Dynamics 365 Business Central. In part one of this workflow video, we covered the basic components of the workflow setups. In part two, we'll walk through an approval process example. My name is John Hoyt, Solution Specialist for TMC. Let's get started. In this video, we'll walk through an example of a workflow controlled process, in this case, a vendor invoice. A new transaction is created that requires approval. Notifications are delivered to the approvers. The transaction is then approved and completed. Let's see how this works. I'll pull up my Business Central system, and we'll navigate to the Purchasing module, and then into the Purchase Invoices, and we'll create a new Purchase Invoice. Enter in the vendor information, vendor document number, and then for the details here on my lines, instead of doing this as the item, I'm just going to go straight to general ledger account. And maybe in this case, it's a life insurance policy. So I'll go to my life insurance expense. A single policy, premium of $5,000. And in this case, we're not going to do any dimension coding. I'm just going to leave that uncoded. Now, I should, of course, at this point, before I post, I want to do my preview. Make sure I've got all my details correct, all the different ledger entries that are going to be created, ready to post this, and move along to my next invoice. And I'm stopped at this point because a workflow approval process has been enabled for this particular transaction type. And so I'm getting notified that my document must be approved and released before I can perform this action. I'll go ahead and say OK. And in the toolbar, I'm now going to request approval and send out that approval request. Notification comes back from the system, just like we'd set up when we configured the workflow. And the status has now been changed as part of those process steps to now show as pending approval. With that transaction entered and pending approval, the user could go on and enter in their next AP invoice or whatever their next task might be, because now we're waiting for the notification process to get kicked off and for those approvals to come in. And I'm going to do that now here inside of email. I've got my inbox. We'll do a quick send and receive there. While we're waiting for that notification come through, let's go back into Business Central. But in this case, I'm going to return to my regular user where we were working on the creation of the workflows in the first video. And now on the home page, the user has an icon, a tile that will light up with the requests to approve. So the notification for the home page for the user has already been completed. And now you see the notification message for email popping up at the same time. Let's go back into email real quick, and we'll take a look at that notification. Hello to the user, brief text message, you're requesting, you are registered to receive notifications for this company. Details, who's the vendor, what's the dollar amount, who created it. A link back that would let me go directly to that transaction. And now straight from my email, I'll be able to see the details that make up that transaction and the controls that I can go through on this. So for reference, all the original attachments, everything else would be made available. I'll leave that page. We'll navigate back into Business Central. I'm going to go back to that tile for the requests that need approval. 
there's my document with the details. I can drill down and see again more information if I need to, or simply go to the controls and process as I would. In this case, everything's fine. I'll go ahead and approve that. And then I can log out as that user. Now, if I go back to my original user, here's that last invoice. And we can drill in and see the details of that invoice. Status has now been updated to released. I'm ready to go through and post my transaction. Everything posted successfully. I now get the message to look at my posted invoice. I'll go ahead and say yes to that. But that's a real world example of how I can create something like a payables transaction, request approval for it. The approver gets notified both on the home page as well as on their uh, inbox. And then they have the details available and the controls they need to continue to work through with that. So in this video, we walk through the basic steps in completing a workflow approval from a new transaction through the approval steps. That wraps up this video. If you have any questions or would like to make a suggestion on what we should cover in the next video, please comment down below. I'll do my best to answer your comments. And if you need immediate technical support, I invite you to visit our website, www.abouttmc.com. Also, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel.